A very good morning children. Today in Max we are going to learn a new chapter. Chapter 5 equal sharing. So hope you all have completed all the exercises that was mentioned in our previous chapter multiplication. So today let's move on to a new chapter equal sharing. You might always have heard of sharing. What is sharing? Whatever you have you need to share. You have heard often everyone saying this. So today what we are going to learn? We are going to learn how to share equally. Suppose your friend is not having a pencil. What you do? If you are having two pencils, you give one pencil to him. So you are having one pencil and your friend is also having one pencil now. Now that is equally shared. Each one of you are having one pencil. So today we are going to learn about equal sharing. So first let's learn what is equal sharing. When something is grouped or divided equally, it is called as equal sharing. So what is equal sharing? When something is divided equally or it is grouped, in each group there must be equal number of things. Then we call it as equal sharing. Page number 63 in your textbook. So you can open it and we'll read it out. Samuel has 15 candies. He wants to share them equally amongst his five friends. He distributes them one by one. So Samuel is having 15 candies and he wants to share them equally and he's having five friends. The number of candies is 15 and the number of friends is five. So he wants to share it equally. So for that first, what did he do? He gives one candy to each of them. So we said that there are five friends. So what did he do? He gave each one one candy. Now Samuel is left with 10 candies. He was having 15 candies. He gave one, two, three, four, five to his friends. And now he's having 10 candies with him. He gives one more candy to each of them. So now what he is doing? He is giving again one more candy. First he gave one candy to each one of them. Now he is giving one more candy. Now Samuel is left with five candies. So to the five friends he, gave, he again gave each one. He again gives one candy to each of his five friends. So three times he is giving one each to his friend. Now he is left with empty bowl that is zero candies. Now Samuel is having zero candies. So he has distributed equally those candies among his five friends. So that is equal sharing. So look at this picture. In this picture you can see some leaves. How many leaves are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are total six leaves and you can see that they are equally divided. How they are divided you can see that there are two groups total number of leaves are six and they are divided into two groups and how many leaves are there in each group in each group we have one two three and here also we have one two three so the same number of leaves in both the groups so we can say that it is equally divided or it is equally shared now let's look at this picture. We have some cookies. We can see that there are two groups. So how many number of cookies are there? We can see that one, two, three, four, five, six. Total there are six cookies and they are grouped into two. And are they equally shared? Let's see. We can see that in this plate we have one, two, three cookies and in this plate also we have one, two, three. So they are equally distributed or they are equally divided. So we can say here the total number of cookies is six. They are divided into two groups. Each group has three cookies. So we are now going to learn about division. In our previous chapters we learned about addition, subtraction, multiplication. So here we are going to learn about division. Here you can see some straws. Here you have 20 straws. Now we have to equally divide them. How can we divide? They are divided into five groups. One, two, three, four, five. So the total number 20 straws are divided into five groups. 
and we have to find out in each group whether they are equally divided or not. So, 5 groups are formed with 4 straws in each group. So, there are 4 straws in each group and they are equally divided. The 20 straws are divided into 5 groups and each group consists of 4 straws. 20 straws are divided into 5 groups. Each group has 4 straws. For division, there is a symbol. We learned the addition, subtraction and multiplication symbol. For division also, there is a symbol. For that, draw a horizontal line and put a dot above and below this horizontal line. This is the symbol for division. So, here we can read this as 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. You can see the symbol used for division here and how it is read? This is a division sentence 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. This is how we read this 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. In this 20 is the dividend, 5 is the divisor and 4 is the quotient. So, we, the result we get, the answer we get is uh, called in division the quotient. Let us check this picture. In this picture there are some flowers. So, how many are there in total? You can see in this group there are four, four flowers, four flowers and four flowers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, total number of flowers are 12. And can you see that they are equally divided into how many groups? They are divided into three groups. So, the total number of flowers is 12 and they are divided into three groups. We have to find out in each group how many are there. So, how can we write it? 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. You can see in each group there are 4 flowers. Here in the first group there are 4 flowers, second group there are 4 flowers and in the third group there are 4 flowers and so they are equally divided. So, we can say that 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, let us see here 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, 12 is the dividend, 3 is the divisor and 4 is the answer and that is called the quotient. So, in division we say the answer as quotient and the first number the dividend here 3 is the divisor. Let us check what is dividend? The total number of things to be divided. So, the total number of things is the dividend and that will be written first. Then we have the divisor, the number of groups that is the divisor and the quotient, the result of division that tells the number of things in each group. So, the result that we get when we divide the dividend and the divisor that is called the quotient. Here there are some igloos. So, let us check how can we divide this. Total there are 15 igloos here. So, that should be divided equally into groups. So, how can we divide them? We learned that there are 15 igloos and you can see that these 15 igloos are divided into 3 equal groups. So, we can say that the div dividend is 15 that is 15 the total number of igloos. So, the dividend is 15 and the total number of groups is 3. So, here 3 is the divisor and let us check how many igloos are there in each group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5 igloos and it is equally divided into 3 groups. So, the answer is 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So, what is the quotient? It is 5. Here you can see some birds and their nests. So, how many birds are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Total number of birds are 8. So, 8 is the dividend here. So, 8 we have written the dividend. Now, there are some nests. They are grouped into nest. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 nests and 4 becomes the divisor. 
and what is the answer 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So, you can see that these two birds belongs to this nest, these two birds belongs to the second nest, these two birds belongs to the third nest and the last two birds belongs to the fourth nest. So, in each nest there are two birds. So, we can say that 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So, what is the quotient here? The quotient is 2. Here we have an exercise in your book, it is page number 64, practice coach. Answer the following questions. One has been done for you. 12 bows are equally divided among 3 children. How many bows are there with each child? So, what we have to find out? Bows are given. So, 12 bows are equally divided among 3 children. So, what is the total number of bows? They are 12. You can see the 12 bows here and they are divided among 3 children. So, how many groups? 3 groups. Now, we have to find out in each group how many bows are there. So, the picture shows the 12 bows are here and it is divided into 3 groups. Now, let us check in each group how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and they are equally divided. In these 3 groups, we are having 4 bows. So, how can we write the division fact? It is 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, each child has 4 bows. We have to find out how many bows are there with each child. So, what is the answer? It is 4. Now, look at the question B. 8 radishes are equally divided into 2 groups. How many radishes are there in each group? So, what is the total number of radishes? It is 8. You can see the 8 radishes given in the first box and it is divided into 2 groups. So, how many groups? 2 groups. We have to find out how many radishes are there in each group. Looking at the picture itself, you can find out. So, we, how can we write the division sentence? It is the total number of radishes divided by the groups. So, how can we write it? We have to write it 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, that is the answer. How many radishes are there in each group? It is 4. Now, look at the question C. There are 16 wheels in 4 identical cars in total. How many wheels are there in each car? So, what is the question? There are 16 wheels. So, total number of wheels are 16 and it is divided into 4 groups. We have to find out in each group how many wheels are there. So, how can we write that? The total number of wheels is 16, total number of groups is 4. So, looking at the picture, you find out the answer. So, you can write 16 divided by 4 is equal to, you can find out the answer. Now, let us look at the question D. 20 beads are equally divided into 4 groups. How many beads are there in each group? So, you can see that in this box, there are 20 beads. So, the total number of beads are 20 and they are divided into 4 groups. So, how can we write the division sentence? 20 divided by 4 and we have to find out in each group how many beads are there. So, you can count and write it there. So, these two can be done as homework. So, that is all for today. Hope you all understood what is equal sharing. We will be meeting in the next class. Till then, thank you.